Hello, I'm just going to do a video showing what the BIOS actually did for the master card. Hopefully they're going to do the same for the gaming card because they really would benefit from it. So in the past, what would happen with the master card is that from when it hit 50 degrees on the silent BIOS, it would go from 0 to 1200. On the gaming BIOS, it would go from 0 to 1500. Now, even if the game was a very basic game and the temperature just built up, hearing the fans go from 0 to 1200 and even worse, 0 to 1500, when there was no need for it, it stood out and you could hear it and it was annoyed. The other problem was the fact that trying to mess around with it, with uh, your own fan curve, MSI, afterburner and things like that, when you get to a certain level, it made these very temperamental you, you had to get it just right. I think the minimum you could go to was something like about 46-48%, which is still too high. And you're messing around with things I don't really want to. I want to run one software and that's it. And the Gigabyte one wouldn't let you drop below a certain level. So it was a right pain. The other issue was the fact that once this hit about 48-49 degrees, say you're in a menu or something was happening in the game that wasn't that demanding, they would turn off. And then as soon as something demanding happened and the game carried on, either coming up from menu or something, and it went over 50, they would turn back on. And because of the the aggressive fan curve, you could hear it coming off, oh, sorry, coming off, and then going back on, coming off, going back on. And that was annoying. So eventually they got around to do the BIOS, and now it works off two things. Now it'll do, if your card hits 50 degrees, it'll turn on as normal. But also, if you're pulling over 140 watts, it'll turn on. And when it turns on, it won't do the 1200 or the 1500, it'll do 1100. That's its minimum base setting now, where it'll come on. And if it doesn't need to go any faster, because it's not that warm, it won't go any faster. It'll stay at 1100. Obviously, if you're playing something like Cyberpunk or some demanding game, it's pulling a lot of power, it'll ramp up as it needs to. So you don't hear it turn on the way you used to. And also... When you go into a menu or something else, even though the temperature might be lower than 50 degrees, it'll stay on. If you're pulling the amount of power, if you're pulling, like, say, 140 upwards, it knows that you're gaming, and so it'll stay on. And even if it drops below the 140 watts, if it's been on, it seems it must have, like, a time built into it, a delay. It knows to stay on, and it'll stay on for, like, about five, six, seven minutes at 1100 because it knows that you're either gaming or you might be going back into your game and then it'll come back on again. Long story short, it basically behaves the same way as the Asus cards and MSI cards do now, which is great. So anybody who's wondering about the, the master ones, as long as you've updated the BIOS. Now here's the other thing, there's BIOS and there's firmware. The firmware is for the LEDs and screens and stuff like that. The BIOS is how the actual card operates fan-wise and think other such things. So yeah. I'll try and demonstrate it with Baldur's Gate 3. So, still haven't set all on this. This live um, wallpaper is not working for some reason. I'm still messing around with my colours and my layout. But I need it big because I'm sat far away and I can read it. So, at the moment, it's 33. It's only pulling 24. Just to say, boot the game up and fans are off. So, loading it up now. On 34. And in theory, this, is, this should happen, is that should pull enough power. That'll be under 50 and the fans will come on, because it knows you're gaming. So 41, over 50, on 40. I'll pull a little bit more power. Yeah, 142. Fans have come on. But it's only on 42 temp. So this is like the, the main menu for Baldur's Gate. So, 43. Like I say, it knows to come on now because you're basically in a game. That's uh, how it uh, seems to be working on it. Where in the past, 
this card wouldn't have started, it would be um, still waiting for that to hit 50. So, um, it's a lot better than it used to be. And like I say, it just makes it in line with all the other cards now, which is great. So, fingers crossed, they'll do it for the gaming card. They maybe already have, I haven't checked for a while. I checked when this one first got one done and it, there, there was nothing at the time. So, whether they're just pushing it out for the MasterCard, seeing how it goes, what the feedback's like, and then do it for the gaming one, I don't know. But it would it would be criminal for them not to do it for the gaming card because it would make that a lot better as well. Yeah. yeah. Right.